let's solve a couple of questions on Carnot engine. For the first one, we have the ratio of the temperatures of the hot and cold reservoir for a Carnot engine is 2.1. The work done by the engine is 100 joules and we need to figure out the heat extracted from the hot reservoir. And we can report our answers to three significant figures. Okay, as always, pause the video and first attempt this one on your own. Alright, hopefully you gave this a shot. Now we need to figure out the heat extracted from the hot reservoir. And we know that a Carnot engine, it takes in, it takes in heat from a hot reservoir. And let's say that heat is Q1. We have the engine, we have the engine right here. It takes some of that heat and converts it into work and then releases the rest of the heat to, to the cold, to the cold reservoir. We can say that the hot reservoir is at a temperature of T, let's say this is TH and the cold one, we can say that this is at, this is at TC. Now we need to understand the heat extracted from the hot reservoir. So we need to figure out Q1. This is what we need to understand. In the question, let's see what all is provided. We know the work done by the engine. So this is given to be as 100 joules. And we also know the ratio of the temperatures that is TH by TC, which is 2.1. So if we write that, that would, that would be TH divided by TC. This is equal to 2.1. Now these temperatures are taken in kelvins. And there are a couple of equations that we can use which are associated with Carnot engine. One of them, one of them is the, the magnitude of Q1. This is equal to, this is equal to work done, the magnitude of work done plus the magnitude of the heat that is rejected to the sink. And the other one, which relates temperatures and the heat, we can write the ratio of the heat that is taken and the heat that is rejected. That is equal to the ratio of the temperature of the hot reservoir and the temperature of the cold reservoir. So this is TH divided by TC. Now we already know what W is over here and we know this ratio TH by TC. So we can, we can relate Q1 in terms of Q2 from the second equation, place that in the first equation, and then we can solve for Q1, which is what we need to figure out. So we can, we can write Q2, we can write Q2 as when we take this to the left hand side, this becomes Q1 multiplied by TC divided by TH. So that's really one divided by 2.1. So this basically gets divided by 2.1. And now we can place this, we can place this over here. And then we already know what work done is, we should be able to figure out the heat that is extracted. So let's, let's do that. So this becomes Q1, this is equal to 300 plus Q1 divided by 2.1. We take this to the left hand side and this becomes Q1 minus Q1 divided by 2.1. This is equal to 300. Now I encourage you to pause the video and solve for Q1 from this equation. All right, hopefully you did the calculation. So you can take Q1 common and then work out what the left hand side would be. And when you do that, you should see that Q1, this is equal to 576.9 joules. And we can report it to three significant figures. So we can round this off and write 570 seven joules. Okay, let's look at one more question. Now here we have a scientist who claims to have developed an engine having 26% efficiency. He used a plasma source at 1500 degrees Celsius as the source. Which of these best represents the temperature of the sink? We need to choose one answer out of these four options. Now let's see what the question is saying here. Here the scientist he develops an engine having 26% efficiency and the efficiency of a real engine will always be less than the efficiency of a, of an ideal engine. We know what the efficiency of a Carnot engine is. That is one minus T2 by T1, which is T2 is the temperature of the sink. T1 is the temperature of the source and they are both in Kelvins. This efficiency 26%, it is, it is less than the efficiency of a Carnot engine or, or the ideal engine. So when we place, when we write, when we write it in this manner, it becomes one minus T2 by T1. We already know what T1 is. This is 1500 degrees Celsius, but we need to change it to Kelvins. So to do that, this is 1500 plus 273. So that is 1773 Kelvins. And, and this, this inequality, this becomes 0 0.26. We remove the percentage by dividing it with hundred. This is less than one minus T2 divided by 1773. Now we can take this to the left hand side. So that becomes positive. And then when we do that, this is T2 divided by 1773, which is less than one minus 0 0.26. And I encourage you to pause the video and work out this. Just see what is T2 less than. 
when you do that you should see that t2 this comes out to be less than 1312 kelvins so this is this is the first option right here all right you can try more questions from this exercise in the lesson and if you're watching on youtube do check out the exercise link which is added in the description